Greetings friends and family. This is a walk right fly joining in from Midtown Manhattan. Columbus Circle to be exact. Greetings everybody. Greetings, greetings to all of you. How's everybody doing? Today is uh, April 16, 2024. And the temperature is around 70, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And the time is around 5.30 p.m. Local time here in New York. Greetings to all of you. Greetings, everybody. Let me see who's in today. Back, uh, Emma from Montana. Greetings to you, Directress Lady Tucker. Greetings to you as well, Judith Hinton from New York. Greetings. I see Menakshi, Menakshi Sochant from the Netherlands now, right? Used to be in Curacao. Sarita B. Greetings to you as well, Robin Lyles. How you doing, Robin? Greetings to you, Robin Lyles. Angela, Angela from the UK. We haven't seen you for a couple of days. I hope all is well, Angela. I see uh, great minds think alike. Nice, you got the notification. That's awesome. You know, the notification is always a problem, so it's good to see some some improvement here and there. I see Tanya as well. Greetings to you, Tanya. Thank you so much for asking. I'm a lot better today. All uh, the meds they gave me yesterday, it took them, you know, three business days, but they finally worked. You know, so yeah. It didn't work right away. It didn't work, you know, a couple of, a couple of hours la later either. But hey, two business days later, the meds, the, the painkillers worked, and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a lot better today. I can't complain. And I'm trying to be positive, you know, trying to uh, breathe and you know think and you know speak health so that I can have it apparently you know you got to continually you know think about good health you know better health uh, better well-being for achieving it so we're gonna give it a try we're gonna give that a try according to Jewish traditions the Kabbalah we speak everything into existence okay? Adabakadabra, which means I speak. We speak to existence. That was cool. That was really cool. We speak into existence. So I am doing my best to stay positive, you know, and think about good health, think about healing, think about better days. Greetings to you, Nikhil Hill. Area. Greetings to you as well. I see Stylish Bunny. Greetings. Greetings to all of you. All right, we're gonna wait for about a minute and see who else joins in and we're gonna get going. We're gonna give people a minute to get that notification. That delayed notification. Cynthia Kalman. Greetings to you. I see Diego. Diego is from Argentina. Bienvenidos. Argentina. Mi gente es Argentina. I see Cool Aunt 516 from uh, Florida. Greetings to you as well. I see Lynn Hurst. Nice seeing you again, Lynn. I see Michael Tyre. Gal from Scotland. Scotland. Nice. Hermosa Ciudad Nueva York. Si. Exactamente. Absolutely. I see Godfather as well. Greetings to you, Godfather. Abracadabra. Yes. It means I speak into existence. It's according to Kabbalah. Kabbalah, is that how you say it? Jewish uh, traditional spiritual teachings. It's very fascinating actually. The Jewish uh, traditional teachings, spir spiritual teachings, they are fascinating to be honest. If you start getting into it, it's, it's fascinating. It's a great day to walk, absolutely. And I just uh, picked up my soap. I, I picked up uh, my favorite soap right here. It is from France. The name is Quai de Provence. 
that's cheaper at this store. Uh, I had a specific store, so I picked up that one, and I also picked up this one, Anjani. Anjani, if you're watching, you might be interested in this one. This is Chandrika Ayurvedic soap. Apparently, it is good. It kind of like you know refreshes your skin and uh, mood. Apparently, we'll see. Just given different things to try, you know. Whatever works. Anyway. Diego is saying you have a great Spanish. Must have Argentinian Spanish. Oh, thank you so much. That's very nice of you. Uh, my Spanish is actually very, uh, very elementary. It used to be a lot better. Not so much. Parlar español. Muy difícil. Comprendo. Muy bien. Speaking. Uh, Alright friends, everything aside, we are at Columbus Circle, as you can see, it is starting to look like spring in New York City, everything is looking beautiful, you don't even need to uh, go to the Netherlands, you know, to see tulips, see what I mean? Greetings to you, Surfing Tangent, Arjan Ahlwalia. something that's not harsh to my skin. I used to wash my hands. I started washing my hands a lot a long time ago before before it was cool because of COVID. Greetings to you Mighty Bull. Nice seeing you Mighty Bull. All right friends so we are looking towards uh, lower Manhattan. We are in Midtown Manhattan but if you look deep that way and keep walking head to Lower Manhattan. Currently we are in Midtown Manhattan. All right, we're gonna we're gonna explore a little bit, you know, see what's new down here, and maybe uh, head to maybe Lower Manhattan, possibly. We'll see. Whatever we fancy, right? Tanya is saying that's good. You're open-minded to new, different things. You have to be in life. Absolutely, my friend. Life is too short. You know what opened up my eyes and uh, my mind a lot? Being in New York. Being in New York is a blessing, to be honest with you. It teaches you a lot of things about different cultures, different environments, different people, different worlds. You learn a lot. And it opens up your thinking, you know, gives you additional perspective on different things in life. New perspectives, you know challenges your beliefs, makes you question the world, lots of good things, which is good. Angela is saying, are you going to have coffee? I, I already had a uh, cappuccino, so with two shots of espresso. So I'm probably not going to have uh, coffee, but I'm most likely going to have some water. Yeah. I'm definitely going to have some coffee. I'm sorry, some water, not coffee. I had enough coffee. I had a cappuccino. Stylish Bunny saying I need uh, to try a new spicy dragon fruit lemonade. Got that there? Starbucks is always coming up with new ideas, with new recipes, new drinks. Do you like the coffee at uh, Starbucks? You like it? What do you normally get? All right, and then here we have the usual Le Pain Quotidien. You guys know. You guys already know. Delicious bakeries, delicious uh, baked goods, delicious breads. The coffee, not so much. I would not recommend the coffee at Le Pain Quotidien. 
Not at all. Other things, good. Muy bien, muy bien. Delicioso, delicioso. Oh, look at that beautiful dog. Starbucks, no. Only Starbucks Reserve. Starbucks Reserve is uh, elite. I like Starbucks Reserve, personally. But to each their own, you know, everybody has a different taste. Everybody cares about specific things. You know, some people care about their tea. They want to make sure they have high quality tea. They don't care much about coffee. Some people care about coffee. Some people care about the water they drink. Everybody has different things, different interests, different specialties. Oh, I see three amigos. Greetings to you, Joy. Greetings to you. I haven't seen you in days. I hope all is well. Oh, I see Ledang. My Australian friend. Oh, I see Lee as well. My man, how are you doing? All the way in the UK. Thank you for joining in. Uh, summer has arrived now. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't say that yet, my friend. It's just one day. It's just a fluke. It's a promo. It's a little tease, my friend. Tomorrow we're gonna go back to the rain, and then the next day it's gonna be cloudy. So nothing permanent yet. I see Najimo Brown as well from Long Island. Greetings, to Najimo Brown. Hello, hello to you. I hope all is well. Three amigos. So three amigos, are you guys like uh, watching as a as triplets? Is it like three people watching together or just you? How much is water, my friend? One dollar? I'll take water. Got to support small business. Thank you, appreciate it. Oh, Ben Chester is here, my friend Ben. Where have you been? I was asking about you the other day. I thought maybe you moved to Austria, maybe to New Jersey. I forgot where you are. How you doing, Ben? I just got my water, Kirkland water. I didn't even notice it. Look at that, Costco. There you go. Everything happens for a reason, right? Everything happens for a reason. I was just thirsty. I was like, where should I go to get water? I picked up my water from a small business. Always, always, always support small businesses. Family owned the business before, before you support anybody else. supporting anybody else especially in a city like New York in a city like New York you know a lot of businesses are hurting especially family businesses so go out of your way to support small family businesses small independent entrepreneurs small businesses in general Greetings to you, uh, but first coffee, nice. I like the handle, I like the name. You gotta stay hydrated, beautiful people. Absolutely, especially from Kirkland. Kirkland is the headquarters of Costco, by the way. Kirkland is in Washington State. It is about, I would say, 20, 30 minutes away from, uh, um, from Seattle. That is where uh, Costco headquarters is. That's where their call center is. That's where they do a lot of their logistics and operations. Major decisions are made in Kirkland. That is also their brand. Anyway, this is not a paid, ad a paid advertisement. It's not an endorsement. It's just something of a coincidence. John Burke is here. How are you doing, John Burke? How's it going? 
Uh, ben Chester, I agree, I agree, I believe it, I believe it, man. COVID pretty much killed a lot of small businesses. It's as if, you know, as if it was planned in order to uh, destroy small businesses, right? As if it was planned to destroy local businesses and help uh, the corporation. It's crazy. It is crazy. Hello. Birds of New York don't even don't even care. They're like, oh, I'm just gonna stand here, I'm just gonna look at everybody, look at look at what you're doing. I'm gonna see what's gonna happen and just chill. Alright, instead of going down this way, let's uh let's go down this way and do a little U-turn. The dang is saying, no wonder that bottle looks familiar. We've got three Costco open in Sydney, bloody folks. Oh, I see, that's good. And you know what I like about Costco is wherever they open, they have local items, items that are specific to the area. So Costco in France is much different than Costco in China or South Korea or the UK, you know? Of course, you know, they still have the basics, which are found everywhere, but they also have a lot of local items. Which is awesome. There's actually a couple of uh, people on social media, on YouTube, that literally go to uh, different countries and just, you know, just to try Costco. Just literally just to see Costco in different countries. All right, friends and family. Have you guys heard of the Park Hyatt New York Hotel? There's a room, I believe. How much was it? I think it's like $50,000 a night. And you have to uh, book a minimum of seven nights at the very least and it is located here inside the Park Hyatt Hotel New York Park Hyatt I, I don't know how much it is uh, per night for any basic room but when it comes to uh, the high-end rooms they're about $50,000 a night and you have to book a week Minimum of a week. It's crazy. I mean, maybe you can. Seven nights times fifty thousand dollars. Three hundred and fifty thousand. I wonder what the deposit is per night for that. One. You know how you know whenever you book a hotel, they have to do a security deposit per night, twenty, thirty, forty dollars, depending on the hotel. Can you imagine what it would be? for the suite for $50,000 a night hotel. Greg Spout, greetings to you. Oh, this is the Marriott Hotel, by the way. It's part of the Marriott Hotel. It's part of the Marriott Hotel. Oh, no music tonight, please. No music, man. I'm sick and tired of this. Raz Malik, how are you doing? And then here we have a Hilton Club building, West 57th Street. I mentioned this one a few times. It's part of the Hilton Hotel, but more like an apartment. You have to be part of the Hilton Club. Miguel Gonzalez. How are you doing, my friend? I see you, Miguel. The Dang is saying, uh, for some strange reason, my local Costco has uh, freaking coffins at the front of the stores. Wow, at the front? What are they trying to say? But those you need to custom order coffins, you can even get a bargain in death. Oh my goodness. That's interesting. Why don't they just put it in the back? 
They probably put the milk and all the basics all the way in the back, right? And then put the coffin at the front door. That's crazy. That is crazy. Well, nowadays you can even order coffins on Amazon. You can order pre-manufactured apartments, you know, homes from Amazon, Home Depot. So yeah, you can pretty much, you know, get anything nowadays. You could literally buy a pre-manufactured apartment, little house, little cottage from uh, Amazon, from Home Depot, and other companies as well. Okay, let's go down this way. This is F train, 7th Street. Alright, I'm going to see if I can make it through here so I can take my time. The benefits of losing weight. You can go through anything. Charis vlogs. How are you doing, Charis? I see uh, Mikey as well. Greetings to Mikey. Yes. Greetings, everybody. Thank you for joining in. I wanted to stream yesterday, but it was just too much. Pain was a bit too much. All right, here they have it looks like a sale. What's going on? Sample sale, 65% off, 85% off. Oh, that's interesting. That is so, so interesting. Look at that. Anjani, Anjani, I was just talking about you, my friend. I got something uh, that might be of interest to you. Just give me a second. Let me take it out. One of the uh, store attendants recommended I give it a try. He could tell that I was stressed, you know. Life is getting into me, so he recommended I try this silk. It was like a dollar twenty, you know. Not bad, right? Not bad at all. Ayurvedic silk. Anyway, anybody interested in this stuff, you can get it here. I don't know what the name of the store is. You know, it's so funny. I walked by this area few times but didn't really pay attention to it. Let me show you what I'm interested in. It's this one. Civito Espresso Bar. This place right here, my friends, is one of my favorite coffee shops, especially for espresso. And it is a tiny place, you know, not a whole lot of not a whole lot of place, you know, to sit down. It's just like, you know, typical Italian place where you, you know, where you stand and uh, drink some espresso quickly and head, head on out. And it's a pretty awesome spot. They usually play music, so I don't want to go inside. I'm going inside. You guys know there's uh, another Zibito espresso on the other side by uh, the Fox News Corp that one and there's this one too i think they might have a third one if i'm not mistaken there might be a third one. all right so it's rush hour time as you can see things are picking up things are heating up where is this espresso from i'm pretty sure the coffee is from guatemala colombia you know brazil and so on but yeah the brand is from italy or they're Italians. The owners are Italians. Greg is saying, Rob, evening, and glad you survived another day. Thank you so much, my friend. Oh, man. The other night it was so bad, man. It was really, really bad. I pretty much, like, hated it. I hated being alive, I'm not gonna lie. It was so painful. Yeah, so pretty much, you know, I mean, I can tolerate a lot of pain, no problem. But sometimes, man, it goes to a level that I could not even begin to describe. Anyway, there's another Le Pen Quotidien here, in case you're wondering. There's a lot of those here in the city. Unfortunately, Maison Kaisa is gone, so. All we have now is uh, a pin for the end. Let's go down this way. No 
Carlos uh, Faratu488. Are you that guy who slaps random women in New York? Oh man. I almost, I almost cussed you out. Don't ever ask me something like that. No, that's not me. I'm like, today, I'm trying to have a good day. I'm trying to stay positive, you know, get some sunshine. You know, get my legs moving. Reconnect with people from different parts of the world. So, yeah. I almost cussed you out, my friend. So, uh, don't ever ask me that kind of question. No, that's not me. I would never, ever, ever do anything like that. Ever. How could you even ask that kind of question? Are you okay? takes a lot of restraint my friends you know uh, it takes a lot of patience and restraint to be in front of camera it's not so easy all right my friend the greg spout i got something good for you uh but first coffee is saying when it comes to coffee rob i know my coffee that's my background oh that's awesome my friend i love coffee i might not be I might not be an expert like you, but I do enjoy coffee as well. Silish Bunny, you're right, you're right. You just gotta learn to be positive and just keep going, right? Um, uh, Mighty Bull, uh, the pain is just, you know, due to stress and, you know, lack of sleep and just different things. Lack of appetite. That kind of stuff. Just yeah, continuous migraine, TMJ, nerve pain. Yeah, if there's any company, if you guys know anybody selling like, you know, maybe uh, wanting to give away a new jaw, a new, you know, healthy brain, a new neck, you know, a new uh, back and all that good stuff, I would, I'd be happy to take it. getting a lot serious than it was before, unfortunately. Unfortunately, it is getting a lot worse. A lot worse by the day. ages you fast and it kills you very slowly. That is true. Alright and here we have Hilton Hotel. Let's see if I can go in and maybe uh, show you a little bit of the hotel until we get kicked out or something. Seems like they have a problem whenever I go to uh, hotels and establishments. This is the Hilton. This is the biggest Hilton in the city. Oh my goodness, look at how many people are checking in. What in the world is going on in New York City? Is there a conference or something? What the? Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing right now? There's like. The line goes all the way to the end and, you know, 
pretty much downstairs. Like the line goes all the way down and then all the way to the side. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing right now? This is crazy, right? This is the Hilton Hotel here in New York City in Midtown Manhattan. And this is the biggest Hilton in the city with 2,000 rooms. 2,000. I see uh, OT Sinks, my man, OT Sinks, how are you doing? I see Linda Webster, how are you doing, my friend? I hope you're doing good. Ah, Greg Spau saying seven out of ten for that uh, for that for that water fountain. Yeah, it's kind of okay. Um, yeah, I agree. Seven. Yeah, I think seven is good. I think so. Oh, mighty bull. I have no idea. They wear bulletproof vest. Nice. The ding, I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying. Mike E, thank you so much for the support. I missed it. Thank you so much for the super chat. Mark Peacock, thank you so much. Always, Mark Peacock, as soon as he gets in, as soon as he joins in, he likes and shares videos. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. So, yeah, last week the likes and shares were not that great, but, you know, hopefully this week we'll get a lot better. Hopefully this week we'll do a little better. Thank you so much, Mark. You're awesome. Thank you for always liking and sharing videos. You are appreciated. Ben Chester saying, Rob, you have uh, the patience of a saint. A lot of us uh, totally would have cussed him out for that question, right? Yeah, with this thing, you know, you got to gotta be super patient. And luckily, you know, I used to... Uh, I used to be a tutor. I used to tutor, you know, uh, like middle school kids. I mean, I still do sometimes, you know, whenever they need me. But yeah, you need like, I, I built up my patience from that experience. I built up a lot of patience from that time. So that helps, that helps a lot. And I don't want to add, you know, more stress to myself. So I gotta be careful. Cause I'm like two weeks away, like a month away from uh from being uh you know from being under under the knife, you know. For surgery. If I keep going this way, my TMJ is gonna get worse and then the doctors are gonna be like, what? It looks like there's no improvement, it looks like things are not changing. Looks like you're gonna have to do surgery tonight. And I'm scared of that day, so I'm doing my best to, to reverse things and to stay positive and you know not stress too much at least. Anyway, all right, Greg Spell, another one here for you. I see Gary Ting. How you doing, Governor? It's so nice of you to join in. All the way from the UK. Thank you for joining in, Gary. Are you lads in England having a good time today? Angela was saying that it's very cool out in England. Is it about the same where you are? Yeah, like it's like we've been like ten different reasons. Yeah. 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 <laughs> nice seeing you, Linda Webster. Uh, Johnny, you're right. You're right. You are absolutely right. I, I do, you know, from time, you know, from from time to time, I do, uh, I do my best to uh, explore different things on YouTube. Absolutely. Uh, the Mighty Bull. Um, if, if I do have a surgery, it would be a TMJ surgery. It's not. Yeah, nothing is final or anything yet. That's that's what I'm doing now to reverse uh, the possibility of going uh, for surgery. I'm doing my very best to avoid that. But yeah, the doctors just keep saying like, oh yeah, you need to do surgery, you need to do surgery. You know how they are with the doctors, you know? They just, they just, they're more interested about, you know, bringing money to the hospital, making money, and, you know, all that stuff. So anyway, 
looking at a beautiful, beautiful BMW right here. Let's take a moment here to enjoy this beautiful BMW. Looks like looks like a six series. It's definitely a six series. Oh. Look at that beauty. Alright, Lee, I see Lee. Lee is saying, Rob, you get where there's nothing but wind and rain. Yeah, it looks like, you know, the states uh, or the places that used to have good weather are no longer having good weather. That's interesting. And here we have, we had 70 pretty much throughout the day. And now it dipped a little bit to the, to, to the high 60s. But we had 70s pretty much, pretty much all day. Same as yesterday. Mighty Wool. You know what's crazy? So I was reading about, you know, TMJ surgeries, right? This lady had a surgery for TMJ, right? And when the surgery was done, are you guys listening? She started speaking with a British accent. Literally, her whole demeanor changed and she became, she pretty much became a British British lady, an English lady. Isn't that crazy? It's like a phenomenon that happens, you know, maybe to only like 100 people a year or so. So I could be one of those. And then there's another lady from, I think, Cleveland, Ohio. By the time the surgery was done, she woke up with, um, with an Irish accent. She literally became Irish. And you know what the people were saying? The people around them, they're like, oh, I don't understand what she's saying sometimes. You know, she kind of uses like, you know, different terminologies and words, you know, that we've never heard of. So we have to look it up. How crazy is that? Isn't that crazy? Like literally like a person who has never been to England a person who has never been to Ireland going through surgery and then waking up look it up it's crazy one of them is from Texas one of them is I believe from Cleveland Ohio I'm like wow I don't know what kind of accent that I'm gonna wake up with you know who knows by the time the surgery is done I don't know That's bizarre, right? Oh, Bighorn MT, Sean, how you doing, my friend? Nice, happy birthday to you, Big Bighorn MT, Sean. That's awesome. Wait a minute. So it's been a year since your since your last birthday. Wow, time flew, my friend. What in the world? It's been 12 months. It feels like it was yesterday that you turned 40, I believe. Am I right? Anyway, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Sean, Bighorn MT. Alright, let's see if we can enjoy a little bit of this uh, waterfall right here. Renee Zakari, how are you doing? Yeah, I don't know which one, um, which one nature is going to pick for me. I don't know. Once I'm done I have no clue. Who knows? I don't know. It might sound like Beyonce. I don't know. You never know. To the left, to the left. Everything you own. To the left. Yes, my stuff. It's my body. Alright, here we have Italian Icy's milkshakes and the slushy. Tyler Silva, how are you doing? Today is April, yes. That is correct. April 16, 2024. Chase Found is totally a, oh yeah, ten. Yeah, I know I, I know you like that one. I know that's your favorite. Anjani is saying, Rob, life is both a mystery and a miracle, so anything is possible. That's right. How 
bizarre is that though? To go through surgery and then waking up with a completely different accent, you know, something that, you know, where have you been? Nobody, nobody. soccer okay so vintage soccer soccer shop they got all kinds of jerseys from different uh, clubs from Europe a lot of uh, country national jerseys as well they got Ronaldo a lot of great things oh, I think this is uh, Netherlands right I think Netherlands KNVB sounds looks looks like the Netherlands Lauren Peters Jessica, are you guys watching? William Peters. Yeah, that looks like, I'm guessing, I'm guessing it looks like something from a team jersey from the Netherlands. Ooh, well, 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 hello, how are you doing? Oh my goodness, look at this beauty, Toomey. Okay. I see Toomey is doing doing much better unfortunately at LaGuardia and JFK they're gonna abuse the hell out of your luggage I really don't understand people who spend you know thousands of dollars on luggage and suitcases man like why unless you're flying you know first class or business class trust me the people at the airport are gonna abuse the hell out of those luggages or those suitcases Anyway, here we have La Maison du Chocolat. I think it is from Belgium. I did show it to you before. <laughs> that lady's like laughing at me while, while I'm making some uh, different noises. All right, here's the NBC headquarters. Greetings to you, Nancy Ashby, RJ Wertheimer. Greetings, everybody. The doctor is like, oh, you got to stay home, you know, you got to take it easy. Just, you know, stay home. Don't do a lot of exercise. Don't do a lot of walking. I'm like, 
literally the only positive thing in my life is reconnecting with the world and you know walking the streets of New York exploring and learning different things you know that's the only positive thing that I have in my life literally and the doctor's like yeah just you know stay indoors don't walk too much unless it's necessary it's so funny just stay away I'm like nope I cannot do that sir impossible life is terrible right now I cannot just be isolating myself you know on the other side Unfortunately, this part of town has a lot of music going on. There's a lot of music playing, so I'm gonna stay as far away as possible. This is what I like about New York City. Like, you could walk the streets, right? Like, a few blocks in Midtown and hear like Italian, French, you know, Patois, Japanese, Serbian, you name it. Within like a few blocks you hear all kinds of different languages, which is awesome. Where's my state? Okay, there you go, right in the middle. That is only the best state in the country, California. Roxanne Robles, Gracio de Leon, you guys watching? That's the best state, right? They ask you which one is the best state in the US of A? You say California. Distant second, maybe Florida, maybe New York. I don't know. I don't know, it's up for debate. Catherine, how are you doing? Maria Schultz, how's it going? Nice seeing you, Maria Schultz. I missed a comment from uh, Ladang. Ladang, let me go back, let me go back. Ladang is saying, got to get out there, Rob, and enjoy life. Just don't take it too hard. Let the sun heat your face. Man. Absolutely, I'm trying. You know, I'm like low in vitamin D and all the nutrients that you can think of. So I need to get out and at least, you know, get my vit vitamin D, right? At the very least. Doctors are like, no, just stay home. Don't do much. Like, Everything is good in moderation. Everything is good. Diana Aherns, how's it going? Nice to see you, Diana Aherns. Uh, Susie Radebe. Right, it's saying I was in New York eight months ago. This brings many memories. Have hopefully returning again next year from South Africa. That's awesome. Thank you for joining in from South Africa. South Africa. That's awesome. Uh, Diana, I'm, I'm a lot better today. Yeah. There's still a little bit of pain, but it's like a pain that I normally get anyway. Like some type of pain. So I can tolerate that, you know, my jaw hurts, my neck hurts, but it's not to a point where it's stupid, you know. Or like it would collapse me or something. Like it did. Like it did a couple of days ago. This is not too much. Okay, let's stop by our favorite church, Cathedral, here for a minute. Lynn Hurst is here, so might as well, right?
everybody enjoyed that one. Did you like that one, John Burke? things first. We have a, a bakery slash cafe right here. It looks like there's a bar at like this one too. They have multiple, multiple locations throughout this city. Tartineri. Tartineri. You guys remember this look, this, this brand or this uh, name from our visit to Grand Central the other day? We have a little kiosk the same one. All right, my friend, the Greg Spow. Well, 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 we have something beautiful down here. Oh, I could look at this all day. Ladang, I think uh, you're talking about the church in DC. I think that's the one you're talking about. It's an Episcopalian church in DC. I think that's the church you're talking about. Yeah, that's that's the church that uh, pretty much every president visits. That's the one. What was the name of it? The National Cathedral? I think that's the name, the National Cathedral. It's in DC, I had a chance to, to go there twice over the years. It's amazing, it's magnificent. It's like, it's even bigger, way, way bigger than this one. Pretty nice. Does this hotel has anything to do with Berkshire Hathaway by any chance? Or is that a coincidence? Omni Berkshire Place. Does it have to do anything with Warren Buffett? You guys know? We have Bonobos here. Another brand. Oh, okay. They got some nice shirts, it looks like. Okay. Looking nice and clean. That's the one, Judith. You got it right. Absolutely. Washington National Cathedral. That is correct. That's right. That's the one. The dang so. If you guys come to New York and if you have already been to New York, if you have already seen a good amount of, you know, New York City, at least for the first trip, I would highly recommend that you go to DC. Just even for a day. You know, go go in the morning, 
come back you know, late at night. But it's definitely worth it. You get to see you know, a few things and then come back. And there's uh, trains, you know, that go between New York and DC every single day. There's about, I think, six or seven trains that go back and forth between New York and DC. And there's buses that go there as well. So either one can take you there. I would highly recommend. If not, you know, if you can, why not even spend two days, you know, two days in DC if it's possible for you. I like this place. This place is fancy. And this is the to-go section of it. That's the sit-down part and this is the to-go section. Fresco by Scott on the go. This is on the go. The actual sit-down restaurant is right here. It's one of those uh, fancy schmancy restaurants here in the town. This is where, you know, the cows are directly sourced from a private school in Switzerland. You know, most of the cows, you know, that are brought to the table at that, uh, at that restaurant, they usually speak French, you know, multiple languages. They speak French, English, and uh, German most of the time. And the prices are, you know, reflective of that. Just FYI, so case if you go there don't be surprised about the prices it's very pretty absolutely very nice very classy very cozy right and we have another public park here a few uh, blocks away from the other ones this one right here man Starbucks is just everywhere man Starbucks is gonna take over the world in a couple of years. Like, there's not even gonna be another coffee shop, another, another brand in about ten years. Like, is there a part of like Midtown where you don't have uh, a Starbucks? Catherine, absolutely. Yeah, they they are educated. You know, I mean, they're, they're private school uh, cattle. You know, they give you like a tiny bit of steak and you know. But a bit of, you know, cauliflower and a little bit of sauce. That'll be $110, please. And this, is, uh, this is a park that's open to the public as well. I don't know. This park uh, usually does not give me good vibes, especially at night. And here is also where Morgan Stanley's office is. And obviously, you know, Morgan Stanley has like a dozen offices in the city, so it's not surprising. You can find Morgan Stanley, Evercore. What else is there? Ice. Oh, Ice is here too. Intercontinental Exchange. Kroll is here too. Do you guys know about, uh, speaking of uh, Evercore, do you guys know about uh, Glencore? Remember the other day I said uh, Zambia is known for iron ore. They're like one of the biggest producers of iron ore in the world. Literally, there's like one person, one dude from Switzerland that owns pretty much most of the iron ore production in, uh, in Zambia. He's a Swiss citizen. He has multiple citizenships, but he is literally the main person owns all the industries, all the iron uh, ore industries in Zambia. It's crazy. Look up, look up the documentary about Glencore. I forgot the name of the guy. He's uh, he, he was actually wanted by the U.S. government and some European countries, and for money laundering, for so many things. It's crazy. I read about him like at least 10, 12 years ago. Long time. But yeah, there was a time when he wanted to transfer about like 330 million or something overnight to a little town in Switzerland, and they had to do like a, a lot of security clearance. They had to like jump hoops for him so that they can accept the 300 and whatever million uh, euros from him. 
Jill Ford, how are you doing? Uh, Ricardo Holloway, how are you doing, my friend? I haven't seen you in ages. Well, I've been seeing you, but not as often. Not as often. All right, so we are approaching the nicest parts of the city, obviously, as you can see. Beautiful trees, beautiful flowers. We are on Park Avenue. A lot of billionaires, a lot of hedge funds, a lot of uh, high-end apartments, penthouses are located here. I was actually surprised to learn that the grandson of Ayatollah Khomeini of Iran lives in New York. Uh, Erdogan, Rashid Tayyip Erdogan of Turkey. His son lives in New York as well, apparently. Allegedly. And he's doing business with a lot of companies here. It's crazy, man. It's a crazy world. Crazy world. Oh, the crazy world we live in. Enigma, how are you doing? All right, Greg's found. We got something good for you. Maybe a seven. Maybe an eight. I don't know. You judge. It's a nice day. It's a beautiful day. As you can see, there's the MetLife building at a distance. Uh, there's the new JP Morgan building to the right. And where's the Ferrari dealership? I want to see if I can get an idea for my next Ferrari. Maybe just, you know, scoop out some ideas. Get some ideas for the next, for my next Ferrari, right? But first, let's go down this way. Park Avenue is the avenue where you'll find a lot of uh, the hedge funds, private equities, banks. Beautiful fountain, absolutely. And of course, expensive apartments. I don't even know what this is. Blue Owl. Have you guys heard of this one? Has anybody heard of this one? What is it? Never heard of this one. An eight? Oh, okay, because it's uh, it has a height, so it's gonna get an eight, I see. There's the Lobster Club here, very fancy restaurant as well. I, I, I looked at the monthly rates for a parking on the Upper West Side. I was blown away. So let's look at the rates here. So the monthly rate here at this location is $1,000. That's for a regular car. And for a reserved monthly space, that's $1,436. You guys see the difference here? This is literally for parking, just for parking a car. You see how expensive it is to, to own a car, to own a vehicle in New York City? A lot of people don't understand that. It's just like, it does, you know, and there's going to be an additional tax to this. And sometimes you got to give a tip. You know, this is New York City. You've got to tip, tip, tip everywhere you go. The city runs on tips, you know. Take a look at this price, my friends. The regular monthly rate for a vehicle, for a normal vehicle, is 1012 It's not even that bad. I've seen, I've seen a lot more, a lot higher than this one. And look at the daily bicycle rate. $18. Even for a bike, it's $100 for a bike. You see that? If it's a limo, it's a luxury vehicle. If it's a Ferrari, if it's something expensive, a Jaguar, you're looking up paying $2,100, $115, okay? And there's going to be the 18.375% tax. Okay, and if you want these people, you know, to treat your car nicely, you gotta make sure to tip well. You know, don't be like one of those people, you know, who don't tip. Anyway, so for an hour, thirty-eight dollars. That's crazy. For two hours, forty-six dollars. Outrageous. That's like rent price, my friend. That is rent. Anyway. This is New York, city of two tails, right? 
city of different stories. Oh, that's a beautiful art. Where is art artist and twitting? Oh, it opened it for me. I'm not I'm not getting in. I don't want to be trespassing. Look at that beautiful art. Oh, it smells good too. You know how like, you know, some hotels and uh, apartment buildings, they literally use a specific scent, you know, for the building. They have one of those there. Do you guys know that, you know, the scent, you know, that you smell whenever you go inside a Hilton hotel, a, ho a Holiday Inn, you know, all these, you know, decent hotels, not Holiday Inn, but like, you know, all the Hilton hotels, you know, Conrad and things like that. You can actually buy that scent on their website you can actually buy the linens and you know the beddings and everything just like a hilton from their website they have a, a separate website where you can buy the beddings and linens and everything just like the hilton hotels you can also do the same with the scent you know like you know whenever you go into like a nice hotel like a four seasons or something it smells like really good and it has like that specific scent you can buy that the door opened for me, right? That's a sign. That means you know what? what one day I gotta I gotta bring my Ferrari to that parking lot and then uh, moving on up to the east side, right? That's a good sign, right? Sazi's like, my goodness, two thousand dollars for parking is that great? Imagine that's twenty four thousand dollars a year before taxes and before all the tips. Rushing home ain't worth it, my friend. It ain't worth being killed in New York. For $2,000, I could literally go to Malaysia, you know, get, get good medical care, find out what really is wrong with me for $2,000. You know, eat really well. <laughs> Meaning, you know, after going to like a, a really nice hospital and still have a few hundred, you know, a few hundred dollars left still right diane hub how's it going all right there's a nice art here at reed smith so i just wanted to check it out i always have like really fancy expensive art at these, uh, inside these buildings look at that How you doing? Get a transplant right? I could get a new jaw. I could get a new brain. I could get a new teeth. You know what I mean? Like new nerves? I don't know. Some like BMW nerves? I don't know. Maybe something like, you know, Rolls Royce jaw. You know, I could just be like, hey, make me a custom one. Even if they say like, oh, we don't make those. I'm like, oh, it doesn't matter. I got $2,000. Gotta make it for me. You can make an engine. If you can make a, an airplane engine. You know, for a Boeing, and if you can make you know all these really nice you know cars, fancy cars, you can definitely make me a job, a new job, right? And I'm gonna walk around with the with the Rolls, you know, Rolls Royce uh, logo job. Why not? And I could go to the company for two thousand dollars and be like, you know what? I need you to make me a job. I need a new one. So we have uh, another public park here. By the way, New York City, we have over we have over a thousand public parks. One thousand. This being another one. One of those. Right, Omnigma? That's what I'm saying. I could literally just get a new everything. Where you would catch are the EMN six trains. I'll be like, this is not, I mean, I'll be like, money is not an object, okay? 
That's not a question. I've been suffering. I'm in a lot of pain. Make it for me right now. Our John, thank you so much, our John. Be sure to like and share, okay? Thank you so much, our John. Awesome. You are appreciated. Like that one, Greg? Yeah, I would be like, oh, that's no joke, you know. I need you. I need you to make me. You know what? Let's go down this way. Like, I need you to make me a new job, a new neck retrofit everything, pre-make everything, prefabricate everything to make sure it fits, you know? Stress-free brain. Interesting. Interesting and insightful. I'm going this way because I want to show you one of my favorite synagogues in the city. Unfortunately, these days, you know, it's closed like nine out of ten times. Every time I walk by, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get in today, but at least I want to. I want to show it to you. It has a beautiful. Moorish architecture. It's a landmark. You're gonna love it. I've shown it on my rain walks. I've shown it on, I think, uh, I want to say, yeah, a few live streams. A few live streams. Definitely. Ah, it's closed. What else is new in New York? Bars are open 24/7, but hey. Churches and synagogues, mm, not so much. Look at how beautiful this uh, synagogue is. It has that Moorish architecture. I think for those of you who are from uh, from uh, North Africa and those who are from Hungary and also Sevilla, parts of Sevilla, you might recognize this architecture. Catherine is saying, Catherine is saying, uh, make sure the custom job price includes installation. You're right. Oh, that's no problem. I mean, if we are paying, you know, $2,000 a month for parking, oh, we might add a couple hundred dollars. Just, you know, there's a little something, something for you, sir. I'd be like, there's a little something, something for you for installation, for the doctor. Somebody said uh, two thousand dollars is uh, like three bedroom house in South Africa. All right, so it's closed. Nothing going on here, but at least let's read about it. It is beautiful. This is the Central Synagogue, has been designated a National Historic Landmark in 1975. National Park Service, United States Department of Interior. It's a landmark of the country, of the nation, and also uh, the state of New York. Nancy Ashby, how are you doing? Nice seeing you, Nancy, from Baltimore, Maryland. It's designated landmark. Oh, wow. Actually, uh, became a landmark of New York in 1957. 
Do you guys want to know something crazy? I think I might have told you guys about this. But uh, for those of you who are new, you might not know about this. Officer, do you know if it's ever open at all? During services? I'm not sure like Friday service, only, so I guess, maybe? I don't know. Okay. Thank you. As, yeah, it says Friday, but then Friday they actually have, to have actual service, so you can't really... I don't think it's that bad. Thank you. Have a good one. All right. It's always closed. All right. So we got to see that. I wanted to tell you guys something. Uh, UNESCO. I don't know if it's a UNESCO heritage site. I don't think so. I don't think so. Just a landmark of the state of New York and uh, the national just the, the country the nation yeah for, to be a unesco heritage site uh, i think it takes a whole lot i think it needs to be at least a few hundred years old i believe it's a lot more strict or there's a lot more requirements i should say for um unesco heritage sites but it would be nice though it is Freddy friend is saying I have never been inside a synagogue. Oh, you should. It's a good experience. There's another one on Eldridge Street in Chinatown. Check out that one. It's a synagogue on Eldridge Street. I've I've gone to that one a few times. I'm telling you, that one that one is as beautiful, but not as big. It's beautiful. I'm not Jewish, but you know, I enjoy you know uh, going to different places of worship and. I do enjoy architecture. I do enjoy a little bit of history here and there. So, I always enjoy it. Did I tell you guys about the story of uh, Hagandaz? Some of you guys might have already heard it. Those who haven't, I'm going to tell it to you right now. Are you guys ready for it? Are you guys ready to learn about haagen -Dazs? You guys know I'm an ice cream connoisseur. I enjoy eating ice cream. I enjoy eating gelato. But one of the few things that blows my mind about the ice cream industry is knowing about or learning about haagen -Dazs. So haagen -Dazs is from New York, has nothing to do with Europe, okay? The, the name might sound like it's, it might be from Germany, it might be from uh, Sweden, Denmark, something like that. It's not. It's from the Bronx. haagen <laughs> is from the Bronx, started by two Polish immigrants, Ruben and Rose Mathis, in the Bronx in 1961. The name Hagen Daz has no meaning. It doesn't mean anything. Hagen Daz was just a made up name to make it sound fancy, to make it sound a high end ice cream brand. They wanted to distinguish themselves from the crowds, you know, from the competition. So they named it Hagen Daz. It has no meaning at all. There's no meaning to Hagen Daz. When I was a kid, I always thought that haagen was was possibly from the Netherlands. That's what I thought it was. Oh, Wednesdays from 12.30 to 2. Thank you so much, Stylish Bunny. Thank you for that information. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. These days, it's kind of difficult, you know, to keep up with these hours because Sometimes, even during, you know, public uh, viewing hours, they might have like a private event. They might like, you know, uh, prevent people from coming in. They might say like, oh yeah, not this week. Maybe try next week, you know, that type of stuff. So you never know. Robin Lyles is, is moving to DC this weekend. Nice, I'm excited for you. Going to put National Cathedral on my list to see. Awesome. Oh, 
Robin, I don't know if you're into uh, baked goods at all, but if you are, I highly recommend Je Ne Sais Quoi by DuPont Circle in Washington, D.C. Oh my goodness, my friend. Just go there. The prices are great, the service is great, and it's owned and operated by real French people. You are gonna love that place. The name is Je Ne Sais Quoi. You're gonna love it. I would highly recommend it. Always like Hagen Daz. Hagen Daz is amazing. They, they do put uh, quality ingredients. But in 1983, it was uh, sold to Pillsbury. So the family, the couple, does not own it at all. The new owners are Pillsbury. The Pillsbury Corporation owns it. And I have not had uh, Hagen Daz in long time ago. Now I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about having it today. Tony is saying hi guys. Did you guys know Ben and Jerry's was giving free ice cream? When? Where? What? No. I never hear anything good, man. When and where? Like every time, every time there's something good, you know, some company is giving away something good. I never hear about it. I only hear about it after the fact. After it's done. That's not fair. Oh man. That's that's no bueno. Agandas my favorite. Which one do you like, Judith? What what flavor? Well everything Agandas is good, but which one is your favorite? Dang is saying, great uh, fact on Hagen Daz ice cream. That's crazy though, right? A lot of people think it's from Europe. Nope, it's from the Bronx. You know how many things are from New York, man? Honestly, New York is uh, just a different breed of people. New York is, man, so many celebrities, creators, musicians, politicians, you know, entrepreneurs. They are from New York. It's crazy. New York is just, you will never, never, ever find a place like New York. All right, this is what I hate about New York City, okay? One of the things I hate about New York City is the MTA. The MTA has a budget of $19.2 billion, okay? But there's always maintenance, there's always delays, there's always problems. There's always just, just crazy things going on, you know? With the subway system. It's, it's just, it's annoying as hell. So yeah, the first Hagen Daz was actually opened in 1983 in Brooklyn Heights. No, actually 19, uh, was it 83? No, 71, I think 71. 1971. That was the first. Uh, that was the first Hagen Daz. It was opened in Brooklyn Heights. Brooklyn. All right. Right across the street, we have uh, the Malayan Curry House. That's good stuff. You guys like Indian food? If you like spicy food, like I do, that's a good spot. I've not tried Alibaba. A lot of people have told me good things about it. Uh, I'd love to try it. But I did try this one during lockdown and afterwards, and uh, it was good. Oh, we got a Lamborghini. Lamborghini Urus. Nice. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. I bet you it's a celebrity. There's so many celebrities. Sometimes it's hard to keep up. You're right, the moon is out and it's not even A lot of celebrities stop by in the city and I'm like, and people are like, oh, go to uh, this place. So-and-so is here. I'm like, uh, I don't really care. I really don't care. I 
anyway, Michael Bublé was here a couple of days ago. J Jason Derulo was here as well. Freddy, friend is saying, why do New York City authorities allow these snowball boxes on the streets? Well, you know, there's demand for it and, uh, you know, it brings in money for the city. They collect a lot of taxes, so... They need those as well, and it helps, you know, a lot of families. Anyway, Beer del Papas, this is a good spot here for uh, cream puffs. If you guys are interested in cream puffs, I would recommend that one. Beer del Papas, that's one of the first places that I visited when I first uh, moved to the city. Off to New York. Ooh, Szechuan Garden. Oh, it's closed. Come on, man. Gary Ting. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? On the good spots, don't stay over for too long. This is a nice apartment building. All right, right now we are on Second Avenue on East 53rd Street. Just like we are. Deborah Whitman, how are you doing? Uh, ben and Jerry, free scoop of ice cream, April 26. Okay, so at every location, I'm assuming, or just in New York, maybe in Manhattan, is that what it is? That's good to know. April 26 is next week. What about two weeks, right? All right, that's that's good to know. Oh, today? What? Should we just go to Ben and Jerry's then? See if we can find a Ben and Jerry's. This is another good ice cream spot as well. Himak and Bolios. This is a good spot. This one is good. But as you guys know, there's a difference between gelato and ice cream. Has good ice cream. Okay, let's go down maybe towards uh, lower Manhattan and see what we can find. We are in Midtown East as we speak. We are in Midtown East as we speak. Just an FYI. So, uh, is the Ben and Jerry's ice cream at every location, or is it just at, at a specific location? Can we go to the one by Times Square, maybe? Is that possible? Can we go back to uh, Rockefeller Center? Just like in England, you know? After work, everybody goes to the restaurant, you know, to a pub. Okay. is excited. Probably everywhere, maybe? Oh, you got an hour. Oh, okay, I still got an hour. Okay, that's good to know. Oh my goodness. Is that uh, Ross? Ross from England. How are you doing, my friend? OT sinks. I'm not sure if it's halal. That's a good question. Not sure if it's halal. Malayan curry. Huh. I don't think so. I think they have some pork there. I think they do. Yeah, usually the halal ones, they, they like announce it in bold. They write it to the side, you know, to make sure that everybody knows. So I don't think so. I think it's just it's just a regular spot. You got some good stuff though. Yeah, you guys are lucky in uh, in the UK. You have a lot of halal options, and here I think we mostly have uh, kosher options. Lots of kosher options. We are 
are on East 51st and 2nd Avenue. This is also the neighborhood where a lot of diplomats, a lot of uh, consulates live and also located as well. UN missions and consulates are, consulates are located in this neighborhood. I like how tourists are like, oh, we gotta wait for the sign to change before we could go. They are so, they are so proper, you know. All right, like I said, we have a lot of missions, embassies and consulates in this neighborhood, tucked in between, tucked in between um, businesses. Oh, look at that. Embassy of the Kingdom of Tonga. Madang, that's your neighbor right here. They are your neighbors, right? This is uh, the mission. Oh, this is actually the embassy. Permanent mission. Okay, so it's a mission and embassy as well. I'm surprised it's not in D.C. I'm surprised the embassy is not in D.C. This is weird. We do, normally we don't have embassies here in New York. It's always a mission or a consulate. The embassy is technically supposed to be in Washington, D.C. Huh. Interesting. That's Tonga. Man, these guys are always closed. These guys are always closed. Equatorial Guinea. Greg's Pal. You remember this one? The Pod Hotel? You thought the Pod Hotel might be cheap? It's crazy. Nothing. It used to be cheap, actually. But nothing in New York is cheap anymore. Like a coffin would be $2,000 a month in New York right now. Right, and uh, right across the street we have a synagogue. I think it was burned a couple of years ago. I remember this one. It was burned and they rebuilt it. It looks absolutely amazing right now. It looks a lot better than it did. Greetings to you, COVID girl. All right, and right, right next to it, we have this public park. Oh my goodness, always closed. They do have a beautiful water fountain over here, by the way. Break spell. This is the Green Acre Park. It's open to the public at specific hours. And if you are going to be here in New York City during summer or the end of spring, I would highly recommend that you come here, bring your coffee, croissant, pain au chocolat, and enjoy some scenery, enjoy some nature with beautiful waterfalls in the background. But everything is turned off right now. Everything is closed. It's going gonna, it's gonna to open up pretty soon. <laughs> Omnigma saying you can rent a bike for $100 a month. That's a plus. No, $100 is just to park it, my friend. It's not to rent a bike. It's actually to park it. It's a monthly parking fee. $100 is just to park your bike. You pay $100 and $18 per day. <laughs> Thank you so much for the girl. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for joining in as well. All right, this is Midtown East. what the hype is about this place it's a bagel i tried it and it was not that great 
Some people like swear by it. They say, oh, Sabago is one of the best. I love it. Da -da -da. I tried it and I was like, oh, I'd rather have Liberty Bagel. like another location it's like a fast food mediterranean food kind of like uh naya judith i uh, remember naya it's kind of like naya like fast food mediterranean middle eastern food right across the street we got mickey d's unfortunately mickey d's prices nowadays you might as well go to a sit-down restaurant that's what the prices look like these days what is this place Huh. Wow, you see how packed it is? What are they selling in there? It's one of those New York places that's popular. We must have some great food here. You see that? No place to sit down. That's a real New Yorker place. Huh, Rosemary's, okay. I guess they're cooking some of Rosemary's. Even the outside is packed. Oh my goodness. Gotta check this out one day. Make it works. Yes, I love that one. Thank you, Stylish Bunny. I love that one. The one, uh, I think East uh, 93rd, maybe. But I think yeah, I, I know which one that is. There's like a big uh, U.S. flag, right? Inside the building or inside the bagel shop. Yes, I know which one you're talking about. There's another good coffee shop uh, right across, uh, like a couple of down, uh, blocks down from that one as well. That's good stuff. A lot of good stuff. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, for skiing, for snowboarding. Okay. Interesting. It's an Italian restaurant. Okay. Have you tried it, Stylish Bunny? Is it good? Is it worth the hype? Oh, I sounded like George Carlin. That's funny. How you doing? Interesting. <laughs> the guy laughed. little hidden gem which I've shown before but I'll show it to you again anyway this is a famous place channeling dead comedians huh you know if you guys want to laugh you know speaking of uh, Ladang if you want to laugh you know sometime you know if, you have, if you're having a bad day Go to the Amazon reviews of coffins. Man, people would be, people are just hilarious. They go like, yeah, we didn't hear any complaints from, from grandpa. I guess the coffin worked. <laughs> like what? Garden closes at five? No. I wanted to show you this public park. It's a little hidden gem. Not a whole lot of people know about it. You know, we do our best, you know, to keep certain things in the city, you know, hidden. Because, you know, we want to have, you know, some hidden gems for ourselves. But yeah, this is a public park. It's open to everybody throughout the day. But apparently it looks like the garden closes at 5. But anyway, you can go down all the way to the middle side, to the other side. And, you know, uh, find some seats. There's free internet here. You can use the internet here. Let me just run quickly and show it to you. There's a language center over here, by the way. This is a public park. There's a language center here. Anybody from Mexico, from España, Honduras, Central African Republic, Cuba, Colombia, Ecuador, Argentina, Bolivia, Costa Rica and stuff. Interesting. This is a little hidden gem, you know, that we do our best to keep, you know, secret from 
tourists so that we can uh, enjoy in secret. But I'm being nice and sharing it with everybody. language center here at the specific location. The name is Amster Yard and there's a flag of España, Nabki. Nabki, are you watching? This is funded by the Spanish government. The Spanish Cultural Center. There's a famous, famous grill here. Kemsky Grill. Joe Hernandez. Joe Hernandez is here. Joe, you are late today, my friend. Greetings to you, Lady Tucker. On the start yard. That is correct. Uh, stylish Bunny. I did not read your response. Ladang. Yes. People review everything, man. People have no shame. They review coffins. They review churches. Man, people just review everything these days. They review everything that has that could be reviewed. There's no limits. People review churches, man. Who reviews churches? Like what? Like why would you even bother? Yes, people literally review churches. They take the time to go on a Google site or on a website on Yelp whatever to review church anywhere you know anywhere they can uh, review churches yeah like look at you know type in a church name in new york or anywhere else in the u.s and look at the reviews like they almost almost always have reviews and it's not just you know one two or three people it's usually a lot of people reviewing churches that's funny, right? Stylish funny. It's like, who, like, who in the world reviews churches? Like, are you kidding me? Like, what's your goal in life? You guys remember this one? This brand? Serafina? You guys remember this one? You guys remember the owner? The owner of this place? Guys remember him? The one who's dating a 21 year old girl. <laughs> All right, Mighty Bull. I think this might be your time. What is this? Five star church, I bet I could guess the denomination. <laughs> no, it's not even about the denomination, to be honest, I'm Nicola. It's always about just like people like, oh, I don't like the fact that they have service only at this time, or, you know, I don't like how the church is built, or how, you know, there's no space during service. Oh, I like <laughs> Dez, I think you might, you might actually enjoy that one. My coffin review would be, it's a little cramped, but the interior is comfortable. <laughs> That's funny. It's just that. <laughs> Yeah, whenever you get a chance, just review, like read the reviews of coffins on Amazon, man. It's hilarious. No complaints from Grandpa. I guess, you know, like he usually complains, but he's not complaining right now. So it must have worked. He must have liked it. Like, what the? <laughs> Stylish Bunny is saying St. Patrick's, St. Patrick's Cathedral has a 4.8 Five. Imagine people took the time to review that magnificent church. Wherever you go, people are just taking the time to review. It's crazy. All right, it's a quiet neighborhood. Yes, this is mostly office building, so everybody already left, you know, their offices and already headed home. And there's a lot of, you know, consulates and missions as well, so. They get done and they are running home. Uh, the dang is saying I'm a church goer, but that's a bit messed up on reviews, right? Yeah, the only review of 
churches, so it should be the fun ones, you know, the ones they convert into bars. <laughs> the Church of Beer is also a safe beer, that's funny. I thought you were going somewhere with that one. You got me. Mighty Bull, as always, is saying, uh, don't uh, just be a looker, be a like. No. Be a sharer. That's not even a word, but you get the point. Oh, look at that. There's the Havana Center. What a coincidence. Today, at the beginning of the stream, I was telling you guys about Chabad, about traditional Jewish teachings, spiritual teachings. And here we have a Chabala Center. Would you be able to go in and get some booklets? Get some info? What does it say? Please do not bring in any food or drink from outside. No, nope, I don't got any food. Just my water. A bottle of water. I still have it. Right across the street, we have the Residence Inn by Marriott. Owens, typical Owens. Have you decided as to when you're going to be in New York? Where you're going to be staying? I've given you a lot of options. That's, uh, that's quite a nice apartment building. Park here attached to a restaurant. This is Avra. This is this one is a Greek restaurant. This is a Greek restaurant. They have multiple locations throughout the city. For a second, I thought that was one of Donald Trump's kids. For a second, I was like, wait a minute, is that him? Not him. That is not Donald Donald Trump Jr. I thought that was him. Oh, Greek food is good, my friend. Greek food. Oh, they they eat a lot of lamb. They eat a lot of uh, eat a bread. You know, their salads are delicious. Everything is delicious about Greek food. I love Greek food. I love Greek churches. Amazing. Oh, Baron is like, I mean, he's like, what, 6'4 right now? He is really tall. Lorraine Peters, yep, that's her. That's the one. Robert Hodgins, thank you for joining in. Good point, good point. You made a good point. Yeah, I wish like, you know, we could find like some uh, fast food Greek food at a reasonable price because the Greek food restaurants in New York City are super expensive. Most of them. Most of them are expensive. All right, so the Lexington Hotel. This is an autograph collection. Autograph collection is part of the Marriott, kind of like the uh, Curio collection for the Hiltons. Photograph collection is uh, for Marriott. It's kind of like their specialized, unique uh, hotel locations within the Marriott. So every autograph collection is very different. Okay, let's go down this way. I mean, walking where everybody's walking. Let's walk this way. East 47 streets coming up. All right, friends, uh, do you want to keep going? Uh, are you, have you guys had enough of New York City? What's going on? Let me know. VHAK is saying Americans save this world. We can't even save ourselves, man. You think we're going to save the world? We can barely survive. Save the world. We can't even. We can't even pay our bills, my friends. We can't even uh, 
house our veterans. We can't even house our people. Everybody's like semi-homeless. Barely surviving, barely eating. <laughs> Save the world. <laughs> Sending money abroad, can't even you know take care of our own people. We're always you know, printing and sending money abroad. Yeah, I think the world the world needs to save itself. We can barely save ourselves. Friends, the America they show you on TV is not the same as the America we live in. I know Hollywood, you know, with its glory likes to lie to the world oh look at america everybody drives a ferrari lives in a two-bedroom penthouse parties all day look at what they did with friends nobody lives like friends in new york no one chilling and having a good time all the time you know? even the trust fund babies gotta go to, gotta go to work gotta put in time I mean I know I know I know you know I know um, I know you mean well you know I understand you know we are the leaders of the free world and you know we technically should have the resources to help ourselves and help the world but you're not at that capacity my friend we are trillions of dollars in debt yeah we can barely survive my friend only the reality was exposed to the rest of the world. And I think the, the world is kind of catching up too. As they're catching up to our, you know, impersonations and, you know, all the fronting that we've been doing. They like having someone. Don't even get me started, man. Everybody's like one payment away from being homeless. One, uh, one meal away from, you know, sleeping hungry. One week away from, you know, not knowing if they're gonna make it to the next month, the next week, the following week. Yeah, we, we, we gotta take care of ourselves, man. I mean, I, I heard uh, this guy forgot his name, but he said he put it eloquently. He put it, he, he put it well. He said, you know, unless, until every dime, every you know tax dollars collected in the U.S. of A. goes to making this country look like Dubai, the United Arab Emirates, or Japan, we should not be sending money abroad. Okay. The UAE, all these countries, you know, they first take care of their own citizens. They feed their citizens. They take care of the health of their citizens, the education. They bring in, you know, a higher standard of living for their citizens before helping other countries. You know, they make sure every single one of their citizens is taken care of before sending money abroad. We send money abroad like we got it, like, oh, yeah, we got it. What would you need? How many billions? We got it for you. Imagine, you know, imagine, just imagine for a second. You have a house that needs repair, that needs a lot of work, that needs renovation, that needs just complete, complete, you know, um, I don't know, work, you know, just renovation, whatever it is. And you go and help your neighbor spend money on, the, on your neighbor. Give them money to take care of their house. What does that mean? Like you gotta take care of you first, your house, put everything in order, and then go help other people. Go help the neighbors. It's just crazy. It's only us and you know, Canada, the UK, Australia, that keep sending money abroad before, before taking care of their own city. It's just absurd, man. It's 
stylish bunny, right? We have 60,000, 60,000 veterans who sleep on our streets every single night. Every single night. And to get any funding for veterans, it, take, it takes a long time. Congress goes through so many hoops and loops and whatnot to approve any funding. Greetings to you, Henry. Henry and Renee. Nice seeing both of you. Nice seeing both. Thank you for joining in. All right. And then when, when a foreign nation needs money, we're like, oh, we got the money. All right. It should take us about a couple of hours to approve it. We got the money for you. No worries at all. How much money you need? Just just say whatever. We got it. What? Three amigos. Not just the UN, but a lot of things that we need to put. And I don't want to get into the details and, you know, indulge into, dive into uh, politics, but you get the point. It's just at the end of the day, we got to take care of our own. You got to take care of your own house. Put everything in order. And then, once everything is in order, Send help elsewhere. Like our quarter is wide open, but we're sending C-17s and you know carriers and everything to the Middle East. Like what? Just imagine, like on a very small scale. Think about it. Like think of you doing the same for your house, not taking care of your house, and just going around and just you know taking care of other people's houses and families and so on. Which is great, fine. But what about your own family? What about your own kids? What about your own, you know, yard? Oh, don't even get me started. Frustrating. Ooh, look at the sides and lights. All right, I'm gonna to try to show you guys something. So that is Summit One Vanderbilt right there. My friend Lars Jorgensman, are, are you able to see this one right now? Are you watching? Look at Summit One Vanderbilt. You guys see those floors right there, those windows right at the top? Those are the floors for the Summit One Vanderbilt observa observation deck. This TMJ thing is just making it difficult for me to speak, to be honest with you guys. I know my jaw is not aligned and I have to like wiggle, wiggle my mouth, you know, to like speak words. But I hope, I hope uh, I'm making sense. Anyway, that right there is the observation tower. Michelle K, right? we're just showing off now at this point we're just like working so hard to show off you know how like you know we talked about how some guys you know rent a ferrari for 500 600 dollars i don't know maybe a thousand actually a thousand dollars a day to just drive around and show off but i have to return it by like 6 or 7 p.m but like I feel like that's what we're doing right now just to show off to the world. You guys know about this one. Yeah, I don't think I don't think they're allowing any reporting anymore apparently. This is the Roosevelt Hotel. This is the hotel uh, turned into a migrant shelter. It's about $300 a night and the city is the one paying uh, the bills. For this one, $300 a night, a few hundred rooms, everything is fully packed. This is the Roosevelt Hotel. When the city, when the people of New York City ask for affordable housing, housing for the residents of New York City, they said, no, we don't have the resources, we don't have the money. But all of a sudden, they were able to open this hotel 
accommodate people who came from abroad. And again, nothing wrong with that, but at least take care of your own, make sure your own is taken care of, then jump to helping others. That is the Roosevelt Hotel. Yeah, apparently they don't allow they don't allow recording anymore uh, anywhere close to the building from what I've heard. But you get the point. That's not the only hotel. There's a few hotels in the city that were converted into a migrant shelter. And we've been asking, you know, for housing, affordable housing, and uh, at least you know some type of assistance, you know, for a few months. Nothing. They were like, no, we don't have the resources. Are you kidding? Oh, there's no resources for you. We cannot help you at all. Oh, no, no. There's no help. I mean, you know, we are budget to, Our budget is screwed and uh, we are under budget. Over budget, you know. And then all of a sudden, this entire building in a migrant shelter. saying we're out to talk ice cream <laughs> before I lose my mind right before I lose my mind right before I lose it Cynthia Alba there's a there's a few hotels it's not just this hotel yeah I know this hotel this hotel only has uh, 300 rooms but there is uh there's additional hotels in the city that are designated for migrants there's a few there's uh some high schools you know that, that were converted into shelters there's some uh newly built buildings in harlem converted into migrant shelters are nice right We're gonna at least get some uh, ice cream. Maybe just one scoop of vanilla or something. All right? Let's see if we can get, we can get something. Just a little something. Emma, Emma, where's the Birkenstocks? Are they good? Are they any good? Do you like those? I'd like to I'd like to try Brooks shoes. I'd like to try Birkenstocks maybe. Holy 
Moving forward, how's it going? Moving forward is here. Oh my goodness, you guys are gonna love this one. Judith, I don't know if you left already. Ah, oh, look at this beauty. That is the Chrysler building, my friends. days away from being homeless. People don't care, the government doesn't care. Nobody cares, it seems. Have a good one, Omnigma. Have a good one. Yeah, I might not even get some ice cream. I might actually just get some food for dinner. 
and head on out. It might be better for me. Buy a couple of sardines, get my vitamin vitamin D. Get some beans for fiber. That should be good dinner. Uh, don't forget to like and share. That helps a lot with the channel. It helps bring more streams like this one to your screens. So be sure to like and share. Sharing is caring as always. And off top of my head, I want to send uh, my thanks to a couple of people who uh, supported the channel uh, via PayPal and Cash App. The names that I can remember. Off top of my head, I want to say thank you to Donna, Donna Ramsey. Donna Ramsey. I want to say thank you to. Robin Lyles, thank you very much. Thank you for the support via Cash App. Thank you so much. I also want to say thank you to Angela Rock from Canada. Thank you as always. I also would like to say thank you to uh, Maryland from Independence, Missouri. Thank you, thank you. Maryland Mayoral. Thank you so much for the support via PayPal. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You are awesome. I know there's a couple of names that I've forgotten. Oh, oh. I'm going to get back to you. In addition, Judith Hinton, thank you so much for the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you to, to Judith Hinton as well. Thank you for your support via PayPal. Thank you, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. I think I'm forgetting uh, maybe two or three names. I'm going to bring those uh, names back and um, I'm going to say thank you officially. Thank you, thank you to all of you. Donna Ramsey, I'm not sure where you're from, but thank you so much. Thank you for the support via PayPal. Robin Lyles, moving to DC pretty soon. I also want to say thank you to uh, Judith Hinton, Angela Rock. very much. Anjani is saying, Rob, you should uh, try basmati rice or plain naan with your sardine. I used to cook sardines as well. Have white basmati. That's a good one. That's a good one. Usually I get like a regular bread and I just put it in between the bread or something or, you know, just mix it with uh, garbanzo beans. I'll mix it down. Uh, thank you so much, Joe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Joe. Jordan. <laughs> Always doing God's work. Thank you, Joe. You are always appreciated. Thank you, thank you so much, friends and family. Thank you, Emma. Thank you, thank you to those who supported today with uh, Super Chats as well. Thank you very much, Mikey, you're awesome. Thank you, everybody. I see Corbin Girl, Ladang. Thank you so much, Ladang. You're awesome as always. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Three amigos, you're right. 
Absolutely, absolutely. And again, thank you, Marilyn Mayoral. Thank you for your support via email. Thank you, thank you so much. All right, friends and family, it's that time of the day, that time of the evening, where I say goodbye. And I also want to say thank you to our awesome, amazing mods, uh, Judith Hinton and Jordan Hernandez, as always. Shout out to you. Thank you so much to both of you. Thank you so much. It was a good night. We had a good, you know, we had a good night, good discussions, lively discussions. We got to see a lot today. We stopped by a few places. We had a good time, I think. If you had a good time, be sure to like and share. That is the best part. If you want to support the channel, that's the way to do it. That's the best way to do it. And it's very easy. It takes a few seconds. All right, friends and family, one more time. Thank you to Anderson Oliveira. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, uh, Cynthia Ava, developer TradeWise. Uh, Greg Spau, thank you so much, Godfather, Ben Schneider, Willie Ford, Robin Lyles, thank you so much, thank you, thank you. You have a safe trip and transition to DC. Uh, if you have my email, send me an email. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll try to recommend a few places, you know, for, for bakeries, baked goods, coffee, and that good stuff. I can let you know. Uh, Linda Webster, thank you for joining in all the way from uh, Texas. Gustavo Sierra, Lori Peters. Henry and Renee, as always, thank you. I've not seen Preston and Renette for some time. I hope they're doing okay. Preston and Renette, I hope they're doing good. Deborah Whitman, thank you for joining in. Stylish Bunny, good discussions today. Good discussions, a lot of good stuff. Good exchanges, right? Good chat. Susan Wilson, you have a good one. Thank you for joining in as well. Stephen, uh, peace. I wish you the best. I feel your pain. Uh, things get better for you. I hope. I hope you're at least able to get to get you know be able to afford a sublet. I hope so. I hope so, my friend. I feel your pain. Ladang and Mama Dang, take care of yourselves. Nikhil Hill, Omnigma, Janet Bewick, all the way in New Zealand. Michelle K, thank you for joining in as well. Three amigos, Joy, thank you. Director Lady Tucker. Take care, everybody. Good boy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Robert Hodgins, thank you. Thank you for joining in as well. All right, friends and family, and also Lervoin Presley. Thank you, everybody, friends and family. You guys are awesome, as always. How you doing? Signing off from West 42nd Street, Midtown Manhattan, New York City. Take care, everybody. Have a good one. Stay healthy. Feel good. Get some sunshine. All that good stuff. All right. Don't forget to follow, like, and share, as always. Take care, everybody. Good health. Healthy chat. Absolutely.